Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, has lamented the failure of the Nigerian and state government in the north to secure the region. The Coalition of 42 Northern Groups on Thursday said it will hold a mega summit in Abuja to come up with solutions in the face of rising insecurity in the region. The, spokes, the spokesperson of the CNG, Adolazi Suleiman, during a press briefing said, the Northern Nigeria is now at the mercy of terrorists and bandits, describing the government as a failure. The Muhammad Buhari led Nigerian government and state government, particularly the Northern ones, have been criticized for their failure to crop rising insecurity in the region. He said the CNG is agitated by the recent unchecked escalation of attacks and killings across northern Nigerian communities, the cities and towns and highways that has literally exposed the entire region to the mercy of Boko Haram, who swap insurgents to the northeast and ruthless banditry and kidnapping rings to the northwest and north central. At the risk of overstating the case, we can okay we can ascertain that already Nigeria's first land borders with its northern neighbors have been completely overrun by assortment of armed criminal gang turning them into dangerous uh, uh, feed for drugs, arms, smugglers, illegal immigrants, and foreign fighters from countries in the troubled Shehe region. The CNG notes that the following recent escalations of attacks, killing, and kidnappings, while the presidency appears in total isolation or in deep denial by constantly flaunting victory, in the face of glary failure has reached an unacceptable and an intolerable point where the urgent cities, citizen actions remains the only option. In the light of the above, the CNG has arrived at the following inevitable observations and references that the federal and the state government in the north have woefully failed in the vital area of providing security of lives and properties to citizens, especially in the northern Nigeria, where the ruling All Progressive Congress extracted the bull of its vote in the 2015 and 2019 rounds of election. That the escalation of the security challenges bedeviling the north today is not only a essential threat to the region, but to the whole nation, which our very fragile demo democracy threatening by the worst insecurity of our lifetime. The glaring inab inability to secure the borders, the forests, and the highways in northern Nigeria is partly a result of incapacity. Absence of a political way defends corruption and bad governance. In recognition of the enormity of this security and so economic challenges the cng has resolved to embark on a massive mobilization of all men and women of good will in the region and beyond to raise their voices to give voice to our voiceless people consequently the cng has resolved to organize a mega pan northern nigerian summit under the chairmanship of the convener of the northern elders forum Professor Ango Adulai to look into and provide definite solution to the security challenges in the North region. The statements have read. Okay, thank God they have woken up from slumber. So they have now agreed that the President Muhammad Buhari government have actually failed woefully. All right, someone said we will not allow it. They are there indirectly passing a vote of no confidence on our able performing president <laughs> and our dear party, thereby threatening the peace and unity of our great country. Baba Buhari is performing above 95, and we 
as lovely Nigerians must support him to finish what he has started. I thought Nandi Kano and Bia friends is their nightmare. Hashtag 42 Northern groups to hold mega summit over insecurity. Impossible. Which mega summit are they talking about? How can cows reason? You people never see the part two of the story. Incompetent president of the zone. I thought Indigo was their nightmare. I believe that those who don't benefit, who did not benefit from Fulani Kaba are these 42 Northern groups and Nigerian waiting for the outcome of the cry. No need of doing that because not is safe and Buari is the best. The federal government will not allow that summit. Mr. President is the only person, according to the constitution, that can declare summit for security. These 42 groups are terrorists. We can't allow that to happen. Buari till 2090. Okay, nonsense. Baba remains the best president in the north. She Baba, 3030. These are reactions by Nigerians that they are still talking. Why mega summits? On insecurity is worry not doing where well again which mega summit please good people of southern Nigerians don't listen to any northern group they are just pretending that they don't know that Gumi is godfather of bandits that set motorists ablaze along the road in Sokoto and killing people in in that Goryo market in Sokoto and last month all northern groups are after politics they don't value human life at all there is only born to rule nigeria mindset in their mind she baba anytime we criticize government of Buhari regime not enough we open their own mouth like ocean waves and abuse satanas back they are now realizing that if proper care is not taken boko haram bandit Yes, men, swap kidnappers may destroy Arua totally in the few years to come. They can run after Kanu and Igbo, leave, okay, leaving their real problem with them. He said, so guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts with us. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.